Today on Max's Tech Lab, I'll be showing you how to make an automatic transfer switch from a double pole double throw relay. So I have a video on how to wire and how to use a double pole double throw relay. If you want to go check that out, I'll link that in the card above. Now, this one is going to be used for low voltage, so it's okay to use this for an automatic transfer switch. Um, you could use a manual double pole double throw switch, but I want this to be automatic. So, basically, on the bottom here, 1 and 2 are normally closed, 3 and 4 normally open, 5, 6 are your common, seven and eight are your coil again i explain how all this works in a in another video um so today i'm just going to be showing you how you can make an automatic transfer switch so first you need power source so i'm gonna get my made power supply that I made a video on uh, you can go watch that if you want so I'm also going to get some devices to tell us um, like what sort of thing it's on so I'm going to get a strobe siren the relay and I could use whoops I could use two strobe sirens, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to use one strobe siren for the, I'm not sure, probably the secondary, and then the multimeter for the main power indication. So, basically, I'm going to put my multimeter to 20 volts. I have a multimeter, how to use it, like a multimeter, how to use it video, if you want to go and check that out. So... So basically, you have the, one second, have the main, move this out of the other way. So basically, you have the main power coming to the coil. I have a video on how to solder as well. I'm going to go and check that out. I just want to give... Power to the coil from your main supply, aka my power supply. The next thing you want to do is you want to get your backup source. In this case, I'm just going to use a 9 volt battery. Then you want to get going to get the my multimeter lead and just connect it up to the uh, the coil so that I can tell when the main power goes out so that you guys can see it. Um, so I'm just going to hook this up. Then I'm going to get the, so then let's say the multimeter, yeah, okay, so let's say, um, let's get rid of this strip siren, we'll say the multimeter is our load, so we have it hooked up to the main power source. Then we're going to get, we're going to go from normally closed into a, uh, a switch if you want to be able to isolate your secondary source, which you do. So into a switch, then into the hold on a second let me just find another wire got an old 
jumper cable that doesn't have an alligator clip on it. So just solder that on here quickly. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to basically hook up the backup power to the to the common of one of your relay sides. So then that will go to there. Then you need another wire which will go to hold on. So then you want to basically um connect the negative of your um to your load and then to the normally closed of um of what's it called of your your negative relay set and then you want to get the positive of your load and hook that onto the other, your other one hook that onto your load then you need to get a common that will go to the battery or your backup. So then you see when I connect my battery up, see you have one volt for some reason. Not sure why it's so dead, but yeah, just is, I guess. So now, if we if we give power to to this relay, you see has power. Then, if we connect this up, so our backup is connected. And then turn the power goes out. This is the power switch. Ready? It's going to go to the battery power. So so I'll be using this in my fire alarm system. So if the power goes out. It can switch to battery backup um, without me having to go there and manually change it, which is what it is at the moment. So yeah, um, very, very useful thing. Um, I don't recommend doing this for like mains voltage stuff. I'm just using this for low voltage, so it's fine. Um, obviously, do this at your own risk. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you have any ideas you would like to see me do, maybe uh, comment them down below, and um, I might do them. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.